Hey Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So I have another good Bolo for you guys. Um, this one again is theme related and most items that you find in this theme or area of search typically sell well. Um, again, you're looking for vintage. Vintage is typically what is gonna go for more. Always, always, always search solds before you buy, especially if you're gonna spend some money but um, if you can pick this item up cheap for a buck or two, I say definitely buy it. You're probably definitely going to flip it for decent money. You'll definitely make your money back. Okay, so um, down below, I'll post my Facebook group. If you're not in my group, please join. Subscribe below to my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button. Click the alert button. That'll alert you when I post new videos. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first item is this John Deere 55 gallon oil barrel. Now this is probably a rare and hard to find item, but it was a local pickup and it sold for, let's see, this one says, I'm not sure why they showed this. Very good, but used, sold for $100. Well, this person sold theirs for $1,499 with 23 bids. So that's fantastic. I don't know that why this is in the photo. I don't know why they did that. Um, let's see. Clean inside and empty, no pinholes, fresh off the farm. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure why, unless they didn't think it was even worth $100 and they got lucky. Let's see what they started the auction out at. Yeah, they started the auction out at $9.99. So I'm guessing they probably did not realize that they had an item that was going to go for $1,499. So that is fantastic and exciting for this seller. Okay, so um, this is a poster. You can see here it's got the, um, the ruler to show size. And it's got the tube that it originally came in. This sold for $1,334. Again, this is a John Deere poster, 46 bids. All right, this is a thumb oiler oil can. And it's got, I mean, it, the graphics are coming off, but you can still tell that it says John Deere. And this sold for $611, guys. My goodness, 22 bids. All right, so we have a, uh, this is a pedal tractor. So um, super cute, sold for $435. That one I kind of get. All right, I'm not sure. It says John Deere snowmobile track. So I'm guessing this is like a full size thing. Again, probably something you're not gonna find. At first I thought it was for a toy and that's why I included it, but I don't think this is for a toy. So I guess if you get lucky and find one of these, and you can find it cheap, then get it, but probably not gonna find it too cheap. I don't know, uh, 475, six bids. All right, so this is a John Deere dealership catalog, um, adverse, advertising sign um, manual. So you can see here, this sold for $385, 61 bids. All right, we got a lighter, um, it's just a vintage old lighter with the cool graphics on it, $546 and 40, 59 cents guys, 14 bids, amazing. All right, so we all know about the hats, um, the snapback hats. John Deere is one of the ones that do super, super well. Um, I've talked about these a lot in my um, Facebook group, but definitely if you see a snapback that is John Deere and vintage, grab it. These all look to be in really nice condition. Um, these sold, there's six of them for $333, 25 bids. Okay, so here's another one. This is just one hat and it says Lakeside Lawn and Leisure and then it's got the John Deere um, little logo. This sold for 302 with 37 bids. All right, so this is a paperweight. Um, it's vintage glass crystal paperweight and you can kind of, 
you know, it's got the deer on it, but you see here it says John Deere um, symbol, and it so it shows that it is John Deere. Um, 30 bids, $279. All right, so this is a John Deere ornament, a Christmas ornament, and it's from 1997. So it's old, but it's not super, super old. Um, pretty cool piece. It's got the little um, sleeve to hold it. It only had one bid, but you guys, that's all you need is one bid, and it sold for $325. All right, this is a brochure um, from 1928, John Deere Motor Hay Presses. Uh, it sold for $255 with 14 bids. Amazing. Okay, this is a John Deere hatchet, um, which is like a, I guess a, you call it a tool. Um, it looks to be in really clean vintage condition. Sold for $250 with four bids. This is a coin bank, a John Deere coin bank from 1937, and it sold for $239, only one bid but pretty cool item. This is another brochure. It says from 1928, John Deere Hoover Potato Planter Cutters Fertilizer. Again, this is a brochure and it sold for $212 with 37 bids. All right, so this is an old umbrella sun canopy with fringe and it's a uh, 36 inch. I mean, it's not in mint condition. It's not horrible. Um, the, it's a little faded, but it looks pretty good overall. Um, it sold for $209.50 with 18 bids. All right, these are super cool. I can totally get why these sold for $201.58, but they, they do have some wear, but um, yeah, super cool. 15 bids on these snowmobile John Deere boots. All right, so we got a vintage John Deere thermometer and, you know, not anything fancy. Sold for $192.06 with nine bids. All right, so this is, um, these are vintage brochures and manuals and there's over 50 of them here. My thought is, is this seller probably should have sold these separately given what I've seen some of the other brochures have gone for, but the other brochures had, some of the graphics were a little bit neater but, I mean, these are vintage John Deere. I think I would have tried auction style, started them out at like $9.99 each, and just kind of went with it to see what happens. But they still did really well at $145.50, 39 bids. Okay, so here is another brochure, 15-page brochure, John Deere soybean combines. Um, they got a picture of the inside. 23 bids, $157.50. This is a John Deere fertilizers key ring. It's about the size of a quarter. I mean, nothing special here, just other than the advertisement. And it sold for $130 with 16 bids. John Deere pencil. Um, and then it's got this, I think it's like a little, I don't know. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, is it like a little sleeve? I don't know. You have to kind of look at the picture and let that tell you because I really don't know. Um, but it sold for $150 with one bid. All right, this is an old vintage John Deere wrench and it sold for $145, again, one bid. And just because it has one bid, I mean, it, it means only one person wanted it, but that one person was willing to pay $145. So the seller just probably started the auction high. Now, if they would have started the auction lower, would they have had more bids? Probably. Potentially, could it have gone for more? Maybe, maybe not. So if you're unsure and you paid a lot for something, always price it at the minimum you're willing to take. Okay, so I am under um, active vintage John Deere number of bids, and you can kind of see some of the other things. Of course, we know that porcelain signs do well. I mean, everybody knows those are bolos and they're getting harder and harder to come by. Um, you know, the tractors, especially if they have the original box, are good money right here. This is the combine. 
here's a hat it's only at twenty six dollars so again I'm going by number of bids first so lots of hats some brochures prices are kind of all over the place again definitely definitely search solds um, before you buy something but if you can pick it up cheap it's a good bet that you're gonna do pretty good with something that's John Deere a lot of these items you can I mean brochures most people don't know that brochures sell for a lot especially if you're at a garage sale or a thrift store or even like an auction um, those are things that you can pick up pretty cheap not saying all the time some people know what they have but anyway um, so this completes this video I just wanted to share with you guys some awesome John Deere bolos that I found and be sure to subscribe below and Check out my other videos if you haven't watched any of them. I also feature um, eBay sellers from my Facebook Bolo group. If you're not in my Facebook group, I'll post the link down below. You can join. If you want to be featured on my channel, um, check out some of my other videos. Most of them will say featured eBay seller in the title. And I also have playlists that will tell you um, different categories where I do um, videos for certain things. So check that out and subscribe, be blah, subscribe below. And thanks for watching.